Hi everybody, thank you for tuning in to this video. This is a video on how to use a yoga strap. I'll go, I'll go through some pointers at the beginning and then I will lead you through a gentle sequence using a yoga strap. It's really great for all levels, but especially for beginners or anybody who has some flexibility issues, especially in the hamstrings and the back, and the chest. Um, a yoga strap is a really great prop to use to help open up those areas. This video is sponsored by Fit Lifestyle Company. They sent the yoga strap and the yoga mat. It's a pretty cool yoga mat. Um, the bottom is very sticky, so it's not gonna slide anywhere. And the top is constructed of a towel-like fabric. So it's excellent if you're in a hot yoga class um, and you just want something to absorb the sweat and make sure that you don't slip around. I definitely recommend checking it out. Fit Yoga, no, Fit Lifestyle Company. So come into a comfortable seated position. Roll your shoulders back and just take your ears from side to side. And then close your eyes, bring your head to center and take a deep breath in, filling up your lungs with as much air as you possibly can. And then exhale fully through your mouth with a sigh, <sighs> letting go of anything that happened earlier any stress that you're holding on to. Another deep breath in through your nose. Fill the lungs up with so much air, so much air, so much air. And at the top of the inhale, shrug your shoulders up to your ears. And then exhale fully through your mouth with a sigh. <sighs> Let your shoulders melt away from your ears. And then on the next inhale, turn your palms up to the sky and tilt your chin so it's parallel with the floor. And last time, exhale fully with a sigh. Now close your mouth, but relax your jaw. And relax the space between the eyebrows, the corners of the eyes, and the tops of the cheeks. And just take three deep breaths here, finding your center, finding that place within you that's always. And then we'll take three deep breaths here, finding that space within you that's quiet and calm. On your next inhale, bring both hands to your heart and set an intention for this short practice something you want to focus on specifically, or just a commitment to yourself to stay in the present moment. And then when you're ready, quietly open up your eyes, grab hold of your yoga strap. I'm gonna turn so you can see what I'm doing. We are going to take Gomukhasana arms, cow face arms. I have no idea why it's called cow face. Doesn't look like a cow to me, but that's what it is. So take the yoga strap in your right arm, lift your right arm up to the sky and then bend at the elbow. And then on your next inhale, take your left hand and cup the right elbow. See if you can keep your chin parallel to the ground. We'll just take a couple deep breaths here. And then on the next inhale, we'll take the left arm back behind and grab hold of the yoga strap as close to the right hand as we can. So if you're a beginner or if you're very tight in your shoulders and arms and chest, you may be like this, that's okay. Or you may not even need the strap and you'll be like this. Doesn't really matter where you are, don't worry about it. Just know that with practice, with consistent practice, your flexibility will come. So as you're here, think about your alignment. You wanna have your right elbow pointed up to the sky and you wanna have your left elbow pointed down to the ground. And then with each exhale, see if you can find just the tiniest bit of movement. Maybe the hands can come closer and closer together with each exhale. Keeping your chin parallel, keeping your chest open. Breathe into any areas of tension and try to identify whether you're feeling tension or whether you're feeling pain. If it's pain, you wanna back off right away. If it's just tension because your body is tight, breathe into that.
Try to find space. And then on your next inhale, gently release and unravel the arms. Go ahead and shake them out. And we'll come to the other side. I guess I can turn around now since you know what we're doing. You're gonna lift your left arm up to the sky. Bend to the elbow and then cup the right hand over top of the left elbow. Tilt your chin so you feel like it's parallel with the ground. And just breathe, finding length and space here. On your next inhale, reach your right hand back behind you. Grab hold of the strap wherever you can. Lift your left elbow up to the sky. Your right elbow is down towards the ground. And with each exhale, trying to get closer and closer with the hands. And then notice where you're holding on to tension. So sometimes we might even hold on to tension like in the eyebrows when we're like making this face. Or a lot of times people will keep their eyebrows up like this, like they're really surprised. So see where you're holding tension anywhere in your body, not just your arms, and try to relax as you exhale. Try to keep a neutral face. And let your breath comb through you, working through any kinks, any tangles that you have going on. And then when you're ready, gently release, slowly, slowly, slowly. Let go of the strap, we'll just shake the arms out. And then from here, interlace your fingers out in front of you, round your back and tuck your chin. As you inhale, open up your arms, bring your fingers back behind you, press into the ground, and then lift your hips, lift your chest, look up. Lift your heart as much as you can, stretch into the front of the shoulders, and then as you exhale, gently come down and extend your legs. Remove the flesh from underneath the sitting bones, make your feet flat, and then grab hold of your yoga strap. So we've opened up the chest and the arms a little bit, now we're gonna work on the hamstrings. Hamstrings are notoriously a very tight spot for a lot of people. So if you are feeling extremely tight, just check out your alignment. If you're noticing that your hips are pointed back or tilted back, so you're kind of like slumped over like this, see if you can take your hands to your hips and slowly manipulate your hips so that they're tilted slightly forward so you have a little bit more space here. If that's too much for you and that's often too much for a lot of people just because they're tight, you can do one of two things. You can use a yoga block and prop it underneath your sit sitting bones. But if you don't have a yoga block, you can roll up your mat from the back and just come to sit on the edge of that roll. So just the tops of the femurs are sitting on this little roll that you've created. And that will help you to, to come forward a little bit. If that's not enough space for you, you can use a rolled towel, um, a thick blanket, and just prop it underneath. From here, check out your feet. You wanna have your feet hip distance, spread your toes, and then find the center of your yoga strap. Grab hold on either side, and then lean forward until you can slip the strap over the middle of your feet. So you really wanna make sure that you're strap is going across the arches. From here, you can wrap your hands, grab hold as close as you can. So if you're back here, but you have more movement, really make sure you're wrapping your strap and you're grabbing as close to your feet as you can. As you inhale, get long through your spine. And as you exhale, come forward a little bit. It really doesn't matter how far forward you come. The point is not to get the head to the legs. The point is to feel a nice stretch in the hamstrings. And we do that by finding a connection between the stomach and the thighs. So you wanna aim for a connection there. As you inhale, get length in the spine. As you exhale, melt forward. Let your elbows bend and pull. Use your biceps to come forward. Pull on the strap using the biceps.
Now because hamstrings are often really tight for people, make an intention, set an intention to really figure out whether you're feeling tightness because you're, um, you're feeling tight or whether you're feeling pain because you're not doing something quite right or just doesn't feel so good in your body. So instead of right off the bat labeling it pain, see if you can identify whether it's just tight hamstrings. You never want to be in pain when you're in yoga. Try to keep your chest open. So look out in front of you rather than straight down, which will cause your upper back to round. Look out ahead, keep the shoulder blades drawn toward one another. Another deep breath in. Exhale fully. Another deep breath in. Exhale fully. On your next inhale, gently release, long arms. And then take the strap, we'll set it to the side. I'm gonna do a little counter stretch. Bring your hands halfway back behind you. Fingers pointed in towards your body. And then bring your feet halfway back. Feet are hip distance. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, press into the feet, press into the hands to lift up. Breathing now into the shoulders and the hip flexors. Let your head go if that's okay for your neck. Otherwise, keep your head up, look straight ahead. Gently release. I'm gonna extend just the right leg and sit up tall. Remove the flesh from underneath the sitting bones. Your left foot is in line with your left hip. So the tendency normally is to have the foot really close to the leg, so open it up a little bit so the foot is really in line with your left hip. From here, flex your right foot. Take your right hand down to the ground and bring the left arm to the inside. Then grab hold of your yoga strap. And we're gonna just kind of set it around like this. So wrapping one side around and keeping the other one out in front. So the left arm is out in front to the inside of the leg. Thumb is pointing down. So you have thumbs up, then thumbs down. Then clasp your strap, lean forward. And then we're gonna wrap the left arm around the left leg. So it looks like this. Thumb up, thumb down, clasp, lean forward. Wrap the arm around, and then I'm gonna grab hold of the yoga strap with my right hand coming into a bind. So again, it doesn't matter how far away you are. You wanna think about having your shoulders even, your right foot flexed, inhale, open up the chest, and exhale, come forward. So maybe you don't need the strap and you can clasp on. Maybe you do, that's okay. For today's purposes, let's just use the strap. You're gonna breathe here. This is a hip opener. So you wanna to try to think about having your shoulders even and with each exhale, finding a little bit of space. Then when you're ready, rise up. We'll extend the left leg and take it to the other side. So wrap the strap. So one end is kind of behind you, one end is out in front. You're gonna take the right foot in line with your left hip, left hand down by your side, right arm to the inside. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, come forward, take your thumb down, grab hold of the strap, and then wrap around. And then with your left hand, grab hold of the strap, wherever you can, but try to get as close as you can to the right arm. Shoulders are even, take a deep breath in, get long. Left foot is flexed, as you exhale, come forward. On your next inhale, rise up. Gently release, extend your legs. I'm gonna set the strap to the side just for a sec. Come down onto your back. Take your hands on top of your knees. Arms are long. 
You're just going to draw a circle the size of a dinner plate to the right. And we'll go five times. This just helps to release any tension in the low back. Tuck your chin a little bit for a long neck. And we'll go one more time around. And at the top of this circle, we'll take it to the other side five times to the left. And at the top of this circle, take the hands underneath the knees, activate your toes, take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, rock and roll, sit up. And then we'll come forward onto all fours and find downward facing dog. So for downward facing dog, you wanna have your feet hip distance. Push the mat away from you. If you are very um, new to yoga or if you have some tight hamstrings, you're probably going to have your knees bent. That's okay. You just want to think about finding the shape of a V. So really making your back long, your armpits long, and then with each exhale, inviting the heels to come down to the ground. No worries if they don't get there. On your next inhale, let's just step the right foot to the front of the mat. Take a deep breath in, come onto the fingertips. As you inhale, rise up. And as you exhale, come down. Step back to plank pose and go right into downward facing dog. And on your next inhale, step forward with your left leg. Come onto your fingertips. Left knee directly over left ankle or slightly behind. Rise up, bring the arms up overhead. And then on your next inhale, we'll come down and lower down with your knees. And then keeping your elbows straight back behind you, lower all the way down onto your stomach. Grab hold of your yoga strap. We're gonna come into bow pose. So find the middle of your strap. And then you're gonna loop the middle around the tops of the feet, but the middle. Then take the strap in your hands. Your knees feel like they're hip distance. The toes are spread. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, we're gonna lift everything as high as you can. So the legs lift, the arms lift, the chest lifts. Look ahead. And gently release. Take the strap out to the side and we'll come into child's pose. For child's pose, the forehead rests on the ground, arms are out in front. On your next inhale, round forward onto all fours. Curl your toes, lift up for downward facing dog. And then we're gonna slowly walk to the front of the mat. Grab hold of your strap, rise up. Find the middle of your strap. This is a great balancing pose for low back and for hamstrings. I'm gonna go ahead and shift all the way onto the left foot, but before you do that, lift your left toes. Spread your toes as much as you can and then set them down. Feel your weight evenly distributed in all four corners of the left foot and then begin to shift your weight to your left side. As you inhale, visualize the air entering your body through the bottom of the left foot and then follow the inhale all the way up through the quad and as you feel that happening, you're gonna activate your quad muscle and then follow the inhale all the way up through the front body, activating your core, getting really tall and on your next inhale, lift your right leg and bring the center of the strap around the middle of your right foot. 
Inhale, be tall here. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, extend the right leg. It doesn't really matter how far it comes. Maybe it's straight, maybe it's here, who cares? And then check in. Try not to lean back. Instead, get tall. Point your toes up to the sky, spread the toes, and activate your core, seeing if you can use your core muscles to lift the leg even higher. When you're ready, bend the leg, gently release. We're gonna take it to the other side. But before we do that, lift the right toes, spread the toes as much as you can, and then set them down onto the ground. You're gonna shift all your weight over to the right foot. Visualize the air entering your body through the bottom of the right foot. And activate your quad muscle as you follow the breath all the way up. Activate your core, get really tall, roll your shoulders back. And on your next inhale, use your core strength to lift the left leg bringing the strap around the middle of the bottom of the foot. Take a deep breath and get tall. And as you exhale, extend your left leg and see if you can activate your biceps to pull yourself forward. Ready, gently release. Go ahead and set the straps to the side. Take your feet a little bit wider than hip distance. And as you inhale, lift your arms all the way up. Get as tall as you can, look up. As you exhale, swan dive forward, little bend in your legs, and then grab hold of opposite elbows for ragdoll pose. Let your head go. With your eyes closed, visualize your hips over your ankles. So play around with your weight distribution on your feet. You can even rock forward and backward, trusting yourself that you've got yourself. You're not gonna let yourself fall. And if you do fall, no big deal. And then come into stillness. And as you inhale here, follow the breath through the backs of the legs. And as you exhale, exhale from the waist, feeling the exhale wash over your upper back over your head, letting your whole upper body be really heavy as it melts over your thighs, finding length in the hamstrings. Taking a second to reconnect with your intention that you set at the beginning of the sequence. And on your next inhale, let your arms drop. Bend your knees deeply and roll all the way up, vertebrae by vertebrae. And when you get to the top, step your feet together, keep your eyes closed here. Roll your shoulders back, bring your hands to your heart. And now you're ready to Either carry on with your day or begin a more vigorous yoga practice now that you're warmed up. I hope you enjoyed this practice. Thank you so much for tuning in with me today. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Namaste.